Never have sunlight on your face. You were content to have me shine. You always walked a step behind. We, it was reported that Brother Rasul uh, desired to come to the city and that a date was open. And so when we found that out, we jumped on it immediately, uh, locked down the spot thanks to my brother, Brother Jeff Farad, Jeff's, Brother Jeff's Cultural Center, and um, that's where we're at. Basically, when he was talking about how we shouldn't be divided as far as religions, I relate to that because it was always a stigma like, well, you're Muslim, you, don't, you believe this, you believe that, but really, we all believe in one God. Look at what Allah says in the Holy Quran. Of the prophets and messengers, we make no distinction between them. Wow! If there is no distinction between them, then why do you lift the banner of one over the other? Come on, come on. A Muslim should be able to preach the ministry of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Just as effectively as you would preach the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad. That's right. Because there is no distinction between the prophets and messengers of Allah. Do you know why? Because one God is the sender of them all. That's right. And just the unity and the love, that, that to me was enough to touch my heart. So. Now what I just did with my new nephew, <laughs> if you all would do that with everybody in your community, yes, sir. you would not ever want to be away from each other. You see? I really related to Brother Rasul uh, specifically, sir, in regards to uh, him being uh, I would say, in my own vernacular, being regular. And I could feel an energy come into me. I felt a revival of self-esteem. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In that moment, I understood that self, low self-esteem is not a cause, it's a symptom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understood in that moment that the low self-esteem as a symptom was really from the cause of no self-knowledge. That's what saved my life. And uh, I can't uh, uh, find difficulty putting into words what it meant to me. Uh, I'm, I'm really uh, fired up and ready to uh, make things happen for the better for us as a people here in Colorado and throughout North America and the world. <laughs> uh, we believe that the Ministry of Love Tour uh, would be great and beneficial for the city of Denver because that's one of the things that we're lacking. Um, and judging by the turnout, we were absolutely right in our assessment. Denver definitely needed the Ministry of Love, and I want to thank Allah for allowing our brother, student minister Rasul Muhammad, to come into the city and light this thing up. I think I better give me. An MGT. <laughs> <laughs>